Welcome to eColor. This is my very first baking video, y'all. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make my mom's famous jelly cookies. And these are actually butter cookies with jelly filling, but she just called them jelly cookies. And um, she made them like every holiday for my dad. They were just the cutest couple. And uh, anyway, my dad loved these cookies. They're so absolutely delicious. Our whole family, these have been in our, our family like for decades. And um, okay, I'll be straight up. This is not a healthy choice, I know. But y'all, it's like a holiday and cookies are in, in order. So let's just get started. The first thing you need are cookie cutters. Okay, so any shape, anything that'll suit your fancy. Okay, but like for me, I'm making these for Valentine's Day, so I'm going with hearts. Okay, let's just talk about the size of the cookie cutter. Okay, so the first time I did this, I used a four inch cookie cutter and um, the cookie I, I did was just kind of like really, really big, all right? Um, I think for, for these, um, a three inch cookie cutter is great. And you need another smaller little cookie cutter to make the little hole in the middle. I know that they make cookie cutters for, you know, little bitty shapes, but like I didn't have any. And so you just have to be careful, like that you don't want the hole to be like so big because then this kind of turns into like a thumbprint jelly cookie. Um, but I didn't have anything. But once I decided to do this size, I was just trying to figure out, like I tried to use like the top of a water bottle that was too big. I even tried like a top of a wine bottle. I tried a, a shot glass. I was trying to make a hole, but I kept coming up with these humongous holes and this doesn't look very pretty. And besides it kind of defeats the purpose because the jelly goes like inside the sandwich part of the cookie. And you want it to be in there. So when you take a bite, you're gonna get jelly in there. You just don't want it in the center. So anyway, I was like, I had to be creative. I didn't have the bite size cookie cutter for the hole. And so guess what I did? I went to the garage, I went into the toolbox and I found a, a socket, I don't even know what it's called. Anyway, it was like the perfect size, 11 sixteenths or something. I know it was crazy. I cleaned this, don't worry, this is really clean. And I used this to make all my little holes. Okay, let's get started. Half cup soft unsalted butter. Half cup brown sugar. This is light brown sugar. Half cup regular sugar. So using the mixer, we want to cream this until fluffy, which basically means we want this to be whirling pretty good, like on, on a number six. One egg. Three tablespoons of milk. A half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Three cups of flour. A half a teaspoon salt. And a half a teaspoon of baking soda. And now we need to sift this.
Now we're gonna whirl this up. Okay, there's a lot of flour in here, so we have to be really careful. We just put it on the sift button, just the, the real slow one. And we're gonna make our dough now. So now we're gonna get all this dough and put it in a bowl. And we're gonna chill this for at least one hour. It's so good, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna cover this up and we're gonna go ahead, like I said, I'm gonna refrigerate this for at least an hour so that the dough will be a lot easier to work with. And I don't know, I'm sure it does other stuff too, but it's just gonna be a lot easier to work with. So in the refrigerator it goes. The dough is nice and cold. And all right, so we need our dough. We need uh, some sort of preserves. I love strawberry preserves, and this was my dad's favorite, so that's going in these cookies. But you know, I'm sure you could do apricot, cherry, whatever your heart loves. And um, yeah, so we got our cookie cutters here, and I got flour because we got to make sure that we flour our surface. And we need an ungreased baking pan and did I tell you that the oven is preheated on 375 let's go so flour on here and okay so this is a lot of dough in here and in fact it's so cold I can't even get it out of here so we're probably gonna need to just like let it warm up for just a second here you guys I think it's like a little too cold to work with. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna wait just five minutes and this gets a little softer. I got it out guys, here we go. You know what, I'm gonna make sure that this stays nice and cold and put that little saran wrap back on here. So you should roll your dough to about like an eighth of an inch thick. And I still need to roll it some more. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, but I usually just kind of feel it and it still feels kind of thick. So we're just gonna go ahead and roll some more. And this dough is okay to keep adding some flour. It, it doesn't hurt the cookie. I always use a really thin spatula so that your little shapes come up easier because some of these spatulas are thick. He's the thinnest one you got. And so this the, the bottom layer, we're just making these flat because we're going to put our jelly on top of here. So I'll show you, but these bottom layers just go on top here.
So this layer of hearts is going to go on top of this layer of hearts. So these, I need to make a little hole in the center. Okay, before I scoop these up, I am going to put a little scoop of jelly in each one of these heart shapes. And we want to put one teaspoon, about one teaspoon of jelly in each. And now we just place our hearts right on top. So every cookie has a lid, got jelly in there, and now we're gonna seal them. So just use a regular little salad fork, and sometimes I just get a little flour on there. And then watch, you just press all the way around here, like this. And you're just gonna seal the sides, and it looks so pretty. So these are going in the oven for 10 minutes. I'll show you what they look like when they come out. Let the cookies cool for about five minutes on the tray and then move them over to a cooling rack. Each batch makes 30 cookies. And it's best, these cookies, I mean, you can heat them warm, but they really taste better when they're cold. And they taste amazing the next day, eat even better the next day and the next day. They're so good. Anyway, so y'all look at this when you open it up. Look at all that beautiful jelly, all that in there. This is so yummy. Mm -hmm. I love these. And they have baking, make some um, in your life those super special. Next video, I'll see y'all next week. Bye bye.